Video 12, Reports. The reports can be saved by pressing this button after every test. When we press this button, we have the option to provide our own name and comments. The name can be entered here and the comments can be entered here. By pressing this button, we can create a test file header with station, position, type and serial number of our choice. By pressing tick mark, we can move to the previous screen. Again, by pressing tick mark, the settings are saved and the reports are ready to be saved in the set file. We also have a quick save option. We can press here to enable the quick save mode. Once the quick save mode is enabled, multiple test cases can be run and the reports will be saved in sequence under the same file. So every time we run the test, we can press this button and you can keep saving the results. So you can see that every time I press this, it saves as a separate test name. On completion of all the tests by pressing this button, we can see the storage file and reference file option. The storage file column, the reference file column. The edit menu in the respective tab can be used to edit the respective options available. This edit option provides the user to edit the station, position, type and serial number. Whereas this edit option for a specific test kit provides the option to edit the name and the comments. By pressing this button, we can select any test case and we can import the values from this test by pressing the same one. The same option is also available in the storage file menu option.